And as you can see there, those must be, Brian, uh, members of that regiment. They right? are. You can tell by the kilt and the, uh, the tartan they're wearing. That is uh, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlander uh, members. And we know that he has uh, sisters. He has family who are there. He has clearly there are military um, people there comforting friends and family as we get ready uh, to watch this. So this is the funeral home in Ottawa where, where the casket carrying um, Nathan Corporal Cirillo is right now and this will be the beginning of this procession. It would be appropriate that uh, a Hamilton police cruiser would be part of that procession, right, since that is the, that is his home. That's right. where he's going. Right, absolutely. And all the services have a, a sort of emotional connection, obviously, police, military, fire services, all of those who protect us um, will have some honor uh, in, in this ceremony today. Hundreds of people are gathering there to pay their respects to Corporal Nathan Cirillo. A gunman shot and killed Corporal Cirillo on Wednesday as he stood guard at the memorial. A procession carrying Corporal Cirillo has begun from Ottawa, from a funeral home in Ottawa, and is moving now to Hamilton, Ontario, along the so-called Highway of Heroes. But as you can see here, there are members of the Canadian Forces paying their respects. There was a spontaneous applause as the regiment that is the same regiment of Corporal Nathan Cirillo's arrived on scene. You can see them there now. Uh, they are just going to be a part of this procession that will take place. Let's just listen in again as the crowd breaks into spontaneous applause as the Prime Minister arrives at the National War Memorial to reinstate the ceremonial guard. Here we see the Prime Minister and we see um, probably the Chief of and Defence that's the Staff. Chief of, it is Chief of Defence Staff Tom Lawson. He is a very kind, emotional man. I speak to him on Remembrance Days and he is very thoughtful. He's very respectful of his staff. This is the scene uh, just outside of Ottawa as that procession is leaving the nation's capital on its way carrying the body of Corporal Nathan Cirillo, as you can see there, and the many people, also media, that have gathered there to pay homage to him as he leaves the nation's capital to return to his hometown of Hamilton, Ontario. You can see that's a Hamilton police cruiser there that is uh, accompanying that procession. You see the spontaneous reaction from people, look, gathering on the side of the highway there, people just stopping because they feel like they have to say thank you. They have to, in fact, pay their respects for a man whose life was just taken too soon here in Ottawa at the National War Memorial on Wednesday. This is that procession carrying the body of Corporal Nathan Cirillo, 24 years old, a reservist with the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. As it leaves the nation's capital, will travel on the 416 highway, then onto the 401, the 407 highway, for those who are familiar uh, with this area of the country, and then on to Hamilton, Ontario. And so, Brian, just your thoughts as we watch uh, these two very moving moments, both right at the center of the nation's capital and now just outside along the highway of this procession. Well, one thought is uh, obviously how moving and how uh, really solemn it is. But the other thought is how appropriate it is. Everything we're seeing is very appropriate to the occasion. It's good the prime minister has come out to this point. It's very good that he's now mingling with the crowd and talking to the, the soldiers. It's very good that the honor guard is back in front of the monument. It's excellent that uh, this uh, slain soldier has been given all the honors befitting. Uh, it's good that people are on those overpasses absolutely. watching with their Canadian flags. This is an appropriate Canadian response to a horrifying incident. 
and it helps bring people together. But there's nothing I'm seeing here that I would say, wow, this is kind of over the top or this is inappropriate. It is just right. The prime Minister being there right now, that's what a, where a Prime Minister should be at this moment. Uh, crowds along the way, that's where we should be as citizens. It's very, very good indeed.